We pray for Ukraine or you reign. Hi there. Greetings to all of you, the children of God, beloved of heavens. Uh, I thought you were worried, so I say a few words, or maybe more than a few. Well, you know, I'm still here because you can hear me, but I'm still having to handle this situation with the witchcraft that sent to harm me, even though I'm on the winning side, but the effect is still there. And I asked the witch, why? Why do you follow the demons? And she told me, because they are very powerful and it has an effect that you can feel. I said, no, no, this is just in this physical domain, the ephemeral nature of the world anyway that we live in. Besides, except if they are from humans and became demonized, the demons originally really are just made from <laughs> almost like thin air, you can say, because they are created by a human's bad deeds, energy. So as soon as that energy dissipates, they will just evaporate. You would probably ask me why I don't uh, use any power I have to just eliminate that witch. I I'm sorry, I can't do that. Because if I use my power to handle this, then she will die immediately. Uh, my position is not to kill anyone. My position, my intention, my heart, my mission is to rescue. So I just have to bear it, no matter how difficult and painful any situation. This doubt uh, measure out on me. It's, we're not here to destroy anything or to kill anyone. Killing never helps anyone. I just send a lot of love. All the heavens are lenient, yes, of course, but there are some lower heavens, they are not. They do it accordingly and very strictly. And sometimes, sorry, even Jesus could not interfere, as the law is very strict, you know, black and white, like that. More strict than even on our planet. So please continue to pray for liberation for your soul, that's the most important. Now please, every day, just praise God Almighty, worship God Almighty, and of course, thank God's Son and all the saints and sages that spring out of that Holy Spirit energy. You see, God Almighty is the highest, and there is God's Son. The system is like that. The Son also called the ultimate master, is the only son of God. Please continue watching to find out more. On Saturday, October 28, 2023, our most caring Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, while still in her intensive meditation retreat for the world, considerately shared a message on her well-being amidst the latest attempts by the negative power, namely witchcraft, to cause her harm. Master also kindly reminded all to continue to pray for liberation and that they meet an enlightened Master for guidance. Hi there. Greetings to all of you, children of God. Beloved of heavens, uh, I thought you were worried, so I say a few words, or <laughs> maybe more than a few. Well, you know, I'm still here because you can hear me, but I'm still having to handle this situation with the witchcraft that sent to harm me, even though I'm on the winning side, but the effect is still there. And recently, uh, the witchcraft was still set up outside my door, even if I have changed to another room. But there are always some certain times that I could sneak out quickly. And sometimes 
a few more hours than just sneaking out. Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough girl. I'm tough. Yes, I will survive again. And if I don't, well, we all have to go one day. If I die, I die. Yeah, all right. But I, of course, try my best to survive for your sake. I'm glad you don't practice any uh, magical witchcraft, especially the black magic, because it's very bad for you, very heavy karma. Even the one that you learn from the zealous demons award between the karma gap, it still has a punishing effect because sooner or later you'll be caught. And I asked the witch, why? Why do you follow the demons? And she told me, because they are very powerful and it has an effect that you can feel. I said, no, no, this is just in this physical domain, the ephemeral nature of the world anyway that we live in. Besides, except if they are from humans and became demonized, the demons originally really are just made from (laughs) almost like thin air, you can say, because they are created by humans bad deeds, energy. So as soon as that energy dissipates, they will just evaporate. They won't exist anymore, no matter how powerful they are. But if you trust God, trust the Son of God, and trust the holy saints and sages, you will be saved, and your existence will continue forever. Even if you do some mistakes and repent, you might be forgiven. And if you have met the Son of God or some of the holy sages and saints, you will be saved if you follow them and if you obey the commandments of God while you are in this physical realm. In heaven, we don't have any commandments because everyone is good. They are pure at heart and they just worship God. So they don't have any problems and no bad energy, no bad words in their dictionary at all. They don't even need to speak. They use high uh, telepathy power in order to convey their expression to each other. Only in this physical world do we have to use a lot of languages, and even then we don't understand each other very much. Thus, we do many wrong things, and we also fight or even sometimes kill each other and kill other beings that we deem lesser and less fortunate and, of course, we deem worthless, like the animal people or the tree kingdom people. Just follow God. Just worship God. If you have any master at all who is highly elevated and enlightened, then your fortune is, wow, you should be grateful because you are richer than any trillion heirs on this planet. Multi-trillion heirs, multi-zillion heirs cannot be compared to you in worth in the whole universe. You are the best, except, of course, for the masters, the saints and sages, the Son of God and the Most High, God. You ask me why I am still having to handle the witchcraft situation, of course, because after the demolition of the poisonous wreath that was put in front of my door before, I moved to another room. Afterward, they uh, set up another kind of system, a different system, like a system that would upset my digestive system and taste but system, so I would taste nothing. I would have no appetite and have trouble with the stomach regulation. And then after that was demolished, they set up another system. There is a connecting point in my place. That's why they can use that point to set up things in my house. Otherwise, no one can go in. No one can do anything during my retreat. It's just that because I still need to work for Supreme Master Television. That brings in, you know, all kinds of 
karma through the internet, through my work. Because the Supreme Master Television is working with the world and for the world people. <coughs> that I cannot isolate. Okay? But never mind. And then they set up all kinds of things <laughs> so disgusting, like rat pool ring system that's placed around my waist even, because I need to go to the bathroom sometimes. And that will di- disturb and trouble my digestive system. After that was done and demolished, they set up another system that if I happen to walk through the door, I will get very angry inside and outside. That's a problem, okay? And there are other systems they set up before that, before the poisonous wreath even. I did not notice because I'm busy with other things and my soul, my mind, my thinking are on a higher level than the physical system, so I did not notice. And luckily, it's all, it's all behind now, but it was tremendously upsetting for my whole being, not just the physical, but emotional, psychological, mental, as well as financial well-being. Anyway, we lost some, but these are just material things and physical things, and they're not so very worrisome, okay? As long as I still have enough of my spiritual power, after giving away a lot, if I have enough, I still can survive in this world and continue my work and meditation. And also, I have to always check out for these uh, spiritual outlets, which contain higher spiritual empowerment so that I can continue to work, even if sometimes I'm short of spiritual meditation time. I try, but sometimes, you know, too much karma. It just, <laughs> I try my best. Luckily, there are some spiritual outlets, you know, just like you can plug in and recharge yourself, even if you keep losing, 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 but you can always recharge. When these are recharging outlets, you can't just stay all day in there. If you come in just for some seconds, that's it, because your body cannot stand more than that. And after a few days, you know, sometimes five days, sometimes six days, sometimes a week, this outlet will be closed and no longer available. So I have to continue looking elsewhere within my knowledge and then draw it into where I stay, if possible. Then I could recharge myself. There are many places with very high spiritual outlet power, but I am not able to access Well, what to do. You know, I have what I have. And some of those places are very uh, high in value, you know, in the society. Yeah, only some special people can go there, live there, or work there due to their work or it's just inherited from former dynasties or from saintly people who were there. Nevertheless, they don't know anything about them and they can't make use of them. Even if they know, they cannot make use of them. So it's useless for me to even tell anybody. Uh, and now uh, I'm just talking to you without any writing or without any teleprompter, yes. So whatever I remember, I would just tell you, it doesn't always flow, not like fluidly, uh, smoothly, or according to a uh, theme or according to a uh, subject. It doesn't matter. You will understand everything. And if you don't, ah, then you don't. Uh, many don't. Anyway... You would probably ask me why I don't uh, use any power I have to just eliminate that witch. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Because if I use my power to handle this, then she will die immediately. Uh, My position is not to kill anyone. My position, my intention, my heart, my mission is to rescue. So I just have to bear it, no matter how difficult and painful any situation, this doubt uh, measure out on me. It's, you know, we, we're not here to destroy or to kill. We are here to help people as gently as possible, as much as they can bear, as much as they can understand, to bring them into their own, you know, intellectual uh, power, understanding power, so that they can wake up themselves and they can accept it, and then they begin to search for higher knowledge, for more wisdom, okay? 
We are not here to destroy anything or to kill anyone. Killing never helps anyone. I just send a lot of love. You know, we are here to heal, not to kill. I'm thanking God every day for His protection over the years. I have been in the heavenly court to defend this woman who was trying to kill me. I said to God, please, sir, you are almighty. Please forgive. I forgive her. I still am forgiving her because she just misunderstands the concept of life. And everything in this world has such a tempting power to make people fall. Anyone could fall, anyone could fail in this physical domain. Please, so just forgive, because they were going to bring her to this endless torture in hell. I told you before, where nobody can know where it is to even rescue, and forever, and relentless, all day, all night long. Because many hells are not like that, not like this so-called relentless hell. Other hells, accordingly, they have punishment, all kinds of horrible, painful and indescribable, cruel, cruel punishment. But most of them have break time, like can take a rest, and then come back and be punished again. It depends on how bad the sin was. But the relentless hell is not like that. It's forever punishing. And you forever feel terrible pain, terrible, terrible, I don't know how to say it, sorrow, pain, whatever, all together. But it never, never stops. Even if the Buddha goes there and feeds you, your foot will become burning fire in your mouth and go down your body. You can never have anything that is even like the worst food that the humans here have. I never want anybody to ever fall into that kind of hell. That's why I try so hard to help this woman, hoping that also she will understand her situation and understand right from wrong and change. I say anyone can fail. Anyone can fall on this planet because the system here is made to trap you. And finally, with so much struggle, so much talk, so much negotiation and some cost on my part, she was made to understand and then she repented and she cried when she saw the hell herself and she was so frightened that she truly repented and promised she won't do anything again. And just to forgive her, and then uh, she will never do any harm again. She will never use magic again. Okay, fine. I was so relieved. Originally, I asked only, okay, dear God, dear all the heavens, judgment, please, if I cannot ask too much for her, then please just put her in the demon's world where she was working with them anyway, and she probably would just continue to be a human demon. I thought that was all I could ask, but then later, with more and more time, more and more effort, and more and more of the price to pay, she could be freed because she repented sincerely. But after that for a while, some news was happening, and she thought I was going to stay in her country. She did not like that. Yeah, and the demon told her to do this and do that again to me. But I'm still here. Don't worry, okay? just some pain, some trouble I had to go through. But the price, any price is worth it. Don't worry. Don't worry at all, okay? I will survive. Uh, uh. (coughs) 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 Excuse me. (coughs) There are many demons who wanted also to harm me. And they also were helping her (coughs) to do this. She's not the only one. (coughs) 
sometimes just human demons due to jealousy or arrogance or ego also try to harm me alone, not with other people, not with other human demons or non-human demons. Over the years, some of them even confessed either to me or in the public gathering with my so-called many uh, disciples. Uh, many people heard it. I, I think we still have tapes somewhere, or it probably has been aired before, some years ago. <音>那天要来跟师父斗法嘛 那因为那时候那个等级好像是很小，所以说还是很小，所以那个剑呢好就好像三寸几寸，就以你那个功力哈，看你可以射出来几寸光啊，几寸那个刀剑光。那有的时候哈，都会把那个人那个灵体哈，
然后你自己也没去这样。哎，我我因为我不敢一直尝试啊，就试几次以后我就停止了。停了。也是四个儿子啊。还好。七岁下去就没去了。对。<笑> One of them, a man, a man magician, even blamed me for hurting him by not letting his、uh, dagger pierce through my body. Instead. It turned back to him, so he had to cancel his assassination attempt. Ah,、uh, I said it was not my intention to cause him pain. It just happened. Well, sometimes by the gods or angels. Sorry, I said, but please do not do it again. Killing is heavy karma, you know that. Sooner or later. The churches will catch you and punish you. I mean, the churches from heavens. Even though the churches in this physical world could not find the evidence or could not find you, <sighs> to be in any public domain and remind people of spiritual practice is a risk that I have to take. It does look all easy. Like I'm always smiling mostly and telling jokes and all that, so <laughs> people might think, "Oh, it's a piece of cake what she's doing," and maybe try to imitate it. It's not only that. That's on the surface. It's all different inside. You truly have to diligently practice meditation, check your own moral standard at all times, and connect always with. The higher power, and all with God Almighty, all the time, praising Him, worshiping Him, praying for protection and delivery, mostly, so that you can continue to work. Not that you worry about、uh, life and death matters. Yeah, it's better to finish your work in one lifetime. Or at least until uh, uh, some certain point. Otherwise, to be reincarnated again, born as a baby again, grow up and then become a mature person and then begin a new is kind of very tiresome. Nobody wants to do that again.、Uh, I don't.、Uh, you ask me, of course. Yeah, why don't I use power just to defeat her? No, I cannot. If I use the power. Immediately, I mean the strong one to settle down this issue right away. She would die immediately. There's no 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 chance for her to be rescued, to be redeemed, or to say even sorry or anything. So I just have to be patient so that I have some time and do it, you know, slowly.、And、then maybe she will repent, and then maybe there will be some excuse to help her. Yeah, all the heavens are leaning. Yes, of course. But there are some lower heavens. They are not. They do it accordingly and very strictly. And sometimes, sorry, even Jesus could not interfere. As the law is very strict, you know, black and white, like that, more strict than even on our planet. <coughs> so please continue to pray for liberation for your soul. That's the most important. Okay. Even if the planet stays intact, but if your soul is lost or goes to hell, then you'll be in. Oh my God! I don't know how long till you get out, and you'll be in so much pain and sorrow. Some people, also, you know, eat animal people products, but because they had big merit in a former life, they might survive. And they might still go to heaven, lower heaven, still, you know, not go to hell. But you never know if you have enough merit at all from the former lives or not. Or maybe you already have done a lot of bad things in the former life. So this life, if you continue, then no one can help you. Now, please, every day, just praise God Almighty, worship God Almighty, and of course. Thank God, Son, and all the saints and sages.
that spring out of that holy spirit energy. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something about that. You see, for example, in most religions they have this uh, trinity. Okay, okay. Let's say in uh, Christianity, they always pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I wouldn't like to use the word Holy Ghost, but that's what they translated in some old uh, scriptures. Okay, who is the Father? That's the origin of all things. Okay, and then that is in the beginning was the Word, meaning the sound, the vibration, and the Word was with God. The Word was God. Okay, so this sound, this vibration, which I'm imparting to my so-called disciples, is the one that is directly from God. Okay, right. If we want to go home to God, we have to be embraced by this sound. This vibration. Anyway, we all have it inside. If you are a true human, you have it, unless you look like a human, but you're not. Like you are demons or something else. Okay. Now, even the angels don't have it. Okay. Only humans have it. <sighs> that sound, that vibration, energy is very powerful. The light. It's also another kind of vibration or sound, but more refined. Yeah, that light, the light, is tremendously powerful. And together with that sound or the word of God, then the combination is the so-called Guanyin method that I have been teaching people. But you need to open your inner hearing faculty and the inner seeing faculty, the third eye. And the so-called third uh, ears, then, if you want to call them that, then you be able to hear that vibration, that sound, the word of God, and you be able to see the light, which is the manifestation of God. God is nameless. If you want to know God, the light, and the vibration, the sound will help you. Nothing else can. Nothing else can. And that's the surest way. The surest instrument that brings you home to God, and you will never be reborn again in any lowly situation or exiled to hell to have punishment and pain. Of course, you can go back to the world if you wish to, if you need to, if you want to help somebody, but you don't have to. It's not an obligation, because you have free choice after you are enlightened and. In contact with this direct manifestation of God, which is the sound and light. Uh, yeah, I have to remember what else I want to tell you. Uh, oh, I just remember uh, something. Okay, after your inner eyes, or third eyes, and third ears are opened through the Master by God's grace. You will be also empowered to be reconnected again with God's power, to some degree, according to your spiritual status or state at that time, of uh, transferring inner enlightenment or initiation. Only through initiation can you achieve that and keep it, plus progressing upward. To the day God takes you home forever. This process of initiation will eliminate all your karmic debts, so you are free to go home. Just a little left, so you can still stay in this world, paying little gift and take. That's why the negative force is always after the masters and tries. All means to kill them, to keep our souls here under their oppressive control. Uh, okay. Why do we say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? I will explain now. See, the Father is this nameless, most high, God Almighty, who is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, 
who is everything, in everything, except the demons, of course, because the demons have no substance, no soul, no heart, nothing. That's why they can do anything, because they feel no pain for others. They don't feel pain themselves either. <coughs> but when they don't have any more bad, sinful energy produced by humans, then they will evaporate, disappear, be gone, not exist anymore. That's why whoever worships demons, they have made big, 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 big mistake, done themselves big, big harm, okay? Not only the demons will not be able to help you in any way, they will drag you into hell, because you, if you listen to them, do bad things, then they will drag you to hell. But if you follow, <coughs> if you worship God Almighty alone and follow His Son and all His saints and sages that are from the Holy Spirit, then you'll be saved, definitely. Nothing more can be better than that. Mostly if you follow a saint, a sage, or are even in direct contact with the Son of God, oh, you're the most fortunate being in the whole universe, because they are with God. You see, God Almighty is the highest, and there is God's Son. The system is like that. The Son, also called the ultimate master, is the only Son of God. When the ultimate master manifests himself on the earth, on the planet, in this world, then has, has a physical body has might not be born by conception between a man and a woman, has which is manifest himself as such, such as Jesus, who is truly the Son of God. And every other master is just a saint or a sage who stem also from the ultimate master through the physical channel of the manifested Son of God on earth. So Jesus was the Son of God. Other masters were not, except Jesus, when he has returned, then of course, we also call him the Son of God. Some people think has is just another enlightened master, but has is not. There are differences between the master who is the Son of God and the other masters who are saints and sages, like a third degree or fourth degree, if we count the ultimate master who is still not disconnected from God, not residing completely in the body of the Son of God on earth. God Almighty empowered the ultimate master. The ultimate master is like here's right hand, but anywhere, everywhere, anyway. And when the Son of God, who is the manifested power of the ultimate master, became a so-called human on earth, for example, or any other planet, then has can use like 90% of the ultimate master power, okay? But it's almost the same as the ultimate master in heaven. That 10% is the connection between them. So the Son of God, like Jesus, did not bring the whole uh, power down to earth just always had 90% power uh, allotted to him, so has can use as much as has wants on this planet. But unfortunately, we never treat any master well on earth, including the only Son of God. And if we have met the master like Jesus, for example, oh my God, then you're the best the most lucky in the whole universes, anywhere. That's why when Jesus was alive, he said, no one can go to the Father without me. Or he said, you can only go to the Father through me. Yes, something like that. And then he did not even encourage us to worship him or do anything in his name even. He said, I am the light of the world as long as I am still in the world, you see? Because Jesus knew that there would be another 
coming down or has to come down himself again. Otherwise, if you don't have a master, it's very difficult for you to be liberated. If you don't have a master such as Jesus, the only Son of God that God sent down to earth, if we're so blind, deaf, and dumb, we can't see it. We don't know that Hes is the one, the only Son of God. Then we can never get out. But fortunately, from the power that the only Son of God brought down to earth, they spring out other masters, but they are in a lower level. They will not go back to the Father like the Son of God. The Son of God, like Jesus, has to go back to the Father. Once as he is out, once as he is the Son already, has cannot go back to the Almighty God. Has can contact, of course, can get this connection forever. But has will go back to the original Son of God in beyond words. That's what <laughs> that's what I'm told. Okay, the information is like that. Like sometimes, if the ultimate master wants to send me a real message and to know that it's from him, then has will give me some sign. It's very special. You cannot find it on earth, anywhere, or any mention in any Bible. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you, though. I think better not. Let me ask. No, I'm not allowed to, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, uh, I asked before, and I was told I'm not allowed to. It's better not to, but uh, I ask again now, and the answer is still no, so I'm sorry. So many things I could not tell you anyway. People will make uh, profit out of it, will make use of it to delude other human beings, so that's why. It's not the real thing when people copy and talk about it, but they don't know anything about it, and they've never seen anything like that. And they just talk, they just copy. Maybe, yeah, uh, quite a few people copy me and do this, do that, mislead people and, and make them all confused uh, mentally. Ew. This is terrible. And this is only the teaching that I brought even. It's not yet all this special sign from heavens, that is to confirm with me that this is really a message from beyond, it's not the delusion from the zealous demons and, and what not, because they do that, they do that. There are always two forces around, one telling me the truth and the other one telling me fake news and delusional stuff. So fortunately for humankind and for all beings, from the spiritual um, power of the only Son of God on earth, there will be spreading out of this spiritual power, spiritual force, so that other saints and sages will also be able to help humankind, though they cannot bring them all the way higher up, beyond, uh, for example, the fifth levels. You know, there are the five gods who reside and govern the five spiritual levels, let's say from the astral uh, world all the way to the Sakan, the fifth level is called Sakan. Yeah, it's also called the nameless region. And the real name, true name also, there yeah, are uh, several names for that region. But that is not uh, the highest one. You know, there are much, much more higher worlds than the fifth level. But never mind, if you have the biggest fortune to meet one of these saints and sages who came from the fifth level, oh my God, then you should kneel down and bow to God forever for this fortune and grace. Oh, how many? There are about three fifth level masters as I'm speaking to you on this planet. If you're fortunate, you will see them and you will be their disciples, then you are assured of your forever liberation. But as humanity is forced to be forever busy with material survival, 
and also forced by greed and ambition to be so busy, busy. So it's very difficult for you to even think about going to find any enlightened master to study with, to help yourself, your soul to be liberated forever from this cycle of delusional suffering and pain, life and death and birth and sickness or even hell. So the house of the master is on the fifth level, well, counting from the astral level up. We have the astral level and we have the destructive and building constructive level, and then we have the Brahman level, and then we have the fourth level, and we have the fifth level. Okay, there are names of these five regions, lords, but I can't uh, disclose them to you. Not like this. At the initiation, all my disciples learn how to traverse these regions and go to my new spiritual realm. I call it Tim Kutu, new realm. <laughs> Some call it the new land. It's not a land. <laughs> okay, that is above the the tenth level, above the eleventh level. The fifth level is in between that. We can traverse it if we know the way to the new spiritual realm, but not anybody can except my good so-called disciples. Okay? Huh? Now, I really pray to God Almighty with all my heart and all my worshiping strength and all my sincerity that all humankind, true humans, can meet any of the saints to go back to a higher level, at least above the third level, like the fourth level, so that if you have arrived there already, your soul will never be condemned or degraded to the lower level ever again. You could, you know, go to the lower levels, like the astral level or the second level, just to teach other beings if that's what you want to do and if God allows that. To meet the ultimate master manifested on earth, I don't know how much merit you need to earn. I cannot count, it's too much, too much. But it doesn't matter. Your sincerity will move heaven and earth and will make it happen. So just pray, just be sincere. Worship God. God Almighty is the only one you should worship. Worship the Most High, which is God Almighty. And praise also, thank Him also that He sent His only Son down to the suffering world to rescue you, if you have ever met one. So uh, the ultimate Master is the only Son of God, and the one manifested on earth before was Jesus Christ. And He was truly the Son of God. But what did we do to Him? Oh, I don't want to think about it anymore because I will cry, I will feel terrible. I felt terrible ever since I was young already, when I heard about Jesus' story, and I keep crying, you know, now and then, all the way until I grow up, even after I already went out and talked in lectures. And whenever I mention about Jesus Christ or when people ask about it, I shed tears again. So much pain that people could be so cruel so heartless, so soulless, to, 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 oh God, to, to torture some, some holy being like that. Even if they did not believe that Jesus was holy, it's just a normal person even, you don't do that. He did nothing wrong to anybody, just to humans, the real thing and how to be free. If everybody on earth listened to Jesus, met Jesus at that time, listened to all his teachings, and followed through with it, all the countries would be peaceful like heaven, and we would have everything in abundance. We would never suffer, and this world would have become <laughs> the top heaven by now. Uh, we, we, oh, we are so unfortunate souls. Oh, please pray with all your might. 
to God Almighty that you might meet one of the saints assigned by God. All the best of all, maybe, ever. Yes, son. But one of the saints, fourth level even, could also liberate you because if you are in the fourth level, you will never be condemned again, ever, because you're free. Any levels above the three worlds are the guaranteed uh, status that you will never suffer, never be reborn or die or have sickness in the low and suffering worlds ever again. Now, don't mention about hell. You never know about that anymore. And then from there, you could even slowly learn more with a higher master and you go up to the fifth level the most glorious of the levels that you could reach from this physical realm. Other levels, the six, seven, eight, nine, are not for humans with the human's quality and level to reach and to live. The fifth level is glorious, beautiful, blissful, forever, forever already. Blessed whoever's soul that can even follow any master to reach that level. It's not that easy even in this physical body to reach that level. But with your master, if he or she is from the fifth level or already attained the fifth level, then you certainly will go there. Maybe not immediately, but uh, that master will surely take you up there slowly one day, Yeah, after you leave this physical planet. Even the fourth level master, you should praise and you should follow and you should be grateful and always be thankful in your heart if you meet one. It's very difficult for you to know who is who, of course. We have only three high masters on this planet and they will not look like the ones you expect. They are not even in any of the so-called religious groups or famous churches or temples or any uh, religious organizations. Only when you're lucky, you meet them. Please pray for that, nothing else. Pray for that, because that is the assurance for your forever liberation into a blissful life after, and wonderful worlds that will await you if you have such a master. That is for sure liberation. Anything else you may aspire for, you may uh, pray for, you may hope for, but... Without such masters, saints and sages from the fourth or from the fifth level, you don't have this insurance. You might reach a higher heaven, like maybe astro and then the second level, you know, or, or the Brahman level. But that will recycle you back and forth again to the physical domain and you might fall again. Even people who have enough merit in their lifetime now on earth, and then some accident brought them to the astral level, they feel tremendous love already. They meet the saints and sage is there and they meet someone who looks like Jesus, or it could be Jesus' manifestation on that astral plane for them. And they already feel such tremendous love that they have never experienced on earth. That's why people who so-called die briefly, you know, and went to heavens, even just astral level heaven, they're so blissful, so happy, they never want to come back to this planet. Well, I don't blame them. Nothing here can compare to that, even just a high astral level heaven, due to their marriage in the past. Charlotte's heart stopped. For the next 11 minutes, she was clinically dead. I was above my body. I could see them all the nurses around. Then I opened my eyes. I looked around at the beauty. I could see the trees. I could see the grass. And everything was swaying with the music because everything in heaven worships God. I can't convey to you what heaven looked like because it's so above what we could even imagine a million times. Charlotte says she was led into heaven by angels. There's no fear. It's, it's like pure joy. When the angels takes over, there's no fear. When you're going home, it's pure joy. I was flying through the star-filled realm, and there were all these 
magnificent stars, orbs all around me, and they were so welcoming. And it was like I was being paraded through. And I just, all I felt was everything a human ever wants to feel. Just acceptance and love and joy and being held. And all those things, all those uh, negative things that we have about ourselves, they were gone. They were absolutely gone. Things like, you know, anger and resentment or spite or jealousy. In my opinion, those emotions do not travel with us. They stay here. They're tools for us to learn from. So anyway, I was flying through this star-filled realm, feeling absolutely ecstatic. And it, it wasn't just an explosion, it was a, that was a full time vibe. That is what we come from. The thought of going back was out of the question. It, my body was, I was well aware that my body was behind and it was like a banana peel. What are you gonna do with a banana peel? You know, throw it away. And that's what it felt like. But that doesn't mean they will be forever liberated. It's possible if in their past life they did something good or they have met some good master, and that merit will follow them. And then that master will greet them again in the astral level and teach them more and more until they reach a higher, you know, liberated level of spiritual attainment. So actually a living master is a sure, sure assurance for you. So I would pray for any of you, if you want to go home, if you want to truly be liberated from this suffering world forever. You must find a master, a living master, not the one already ascended to heavens, because their spiritual energy is no longer on our planet if they left this physical world too long already. The most recent master possible, if they uh, left our physical planet around uh, 200 years, more or less, then maybe we still can inherit their spiritual power, energy, and we still can pray to them, and they will still be able to help us through this connection of their spiritual leftover energy on earth, or through their devotees. If those devotees are already embedded in the master's uh, energy, otherwise, if uh, any masters have left too long and went to a higher heaven already, uh, they don't connect with us. They cannot give us initiation and total liberation. Must find a living master for that. We still can praise them, thank them, and give praise to them, but uh, it's not as sure as if you find a living master. So please look, pray and look for yourself, okay, huh? I'm not trying to advertise anything. I'm just saying anything at all, just for your own benefit, okay? Yes. Of course, my door is still open for any of you who really trust, believe, and sincerely seek my help. I promise you I will help. But that doesn't mean that you have to find me. You can find any masters, you know? Try to pray sincerely, and the master will see you, will find you, okay? or you will have uh, some hint or some book or some connection somehow, some information that you will know that is God sent for you to find that master through that connection or through that book or through whatever means that you might find. I wish you all the best of luck in the spiritual grace of God Almighty, of the only Son of God, and of all the saints and sages recently ascended and the saints and sages still alive in our present time. Amen. May God protect you until then. May God grace you until then. May God bless you and love you forever, at least until then. Amen. I love you all. In the name of Almighty God.
Our heartfelt praises to Almighty God for mercifully crossing our paths with Most Benevolent Master, whom we immensely thank for compassionately uplifting and helping all beings, especially in these trying times we live in. Let us pray for divine love to enter people's hearts and transform all our misdeeds into a grounding of wisdom, high virtues, and loving kindness. And let us begin now with the important steps of becoming vegan and making peace to treasure all of Earth's co-inhabitants' lives. May cherished master be always in serene surroundings and excellent health, safeguarded by all magnificent goddesses. Please tune in for the broadcast of Supreme Master Ching Hai's message with more subtitles on Thursday, November 9, 2023 on Between Master and Disciples. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Between Master and Disciples messages and conferences such as The Killing, Terrifying World Between Karma Gap, What's This World Made Of? Together we can erase world karma, a conversation with demon, addressing the creation system, pray for world liberation, etc. To view these and more related Between Master and Disciples messages and conferences, all free for download, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for The Ultimate Master.